PCL cyst resection through transeptal approach. The MRI image identifies symptomatic ganglion cysts located behind the PCL. The goal of this technique is to remove the cyst safely under direct visualization. For the posterior medial approach, the camera should be pushed transnotch to the posterior compartment. Using transillumination, a needle is introduced in the posterior medial aspect of the knee, followed by a number 11 scalpel, creating the portal. A cannula is not necessary. A shaver blade is inserted in this portal in direction to the posterior septum and placed behind the PCL. At this point, the camera should be switched to the anteromedial portal. After locating the position of the tip of the shaver on the other side of the septum, it's turned on, creating a small hole in the wall of the septum. This is what will allow the handling of the instruments in the posterior compartment of the knee. During this process, it is important to maintain the blade of the shaver facing anteriorly all the time. This precaution helps, helps to, to avoid any damage to the vascular structures. Now, the camera is introduced in the posterior medial portal and passing through the hole in the septum previously created by the shaver. Also using transillumination, a needle is introduced in the posterior lateral aspect of the knee, followed by a number 11 blade scalpel, creating the posterior lateral portal. This can be easily done with no risk for the fibular nerve or any other structure located in the posterior lateral corner. With a clear view of the posterior structures of the knee, a radio frequency device is introduced in the posterior lateral portal, starting the debridement right posterior to the PCL. The PCL cyst is now identified, dissected, and completely excised. After the complete removal of the cyst, structures that were underneath it are now visualized, and we can see a clean and intact ligament.